Hello, welcome back to another instalment, uh, instalment, episode, upload, I'm picking, that's all you need to know, I'm out here, I haven't been for a while, I'm a bit rusty, um, I've been going through my death pile and just haven't been out that much since that last Sunday, I probably haven't done any picking, uh, so I'm all desperate to get out this morning, it's Saturday morning, I've come down to Chesterfield, you know I like Chesterfield, I've got an hour, exactly an hour before I have to leave to get home need to be home for 11 it's 9 30 so i've got half an hour to get back so i've got an hour picking so i'm not going to waste much time on this intro um i'm going to get in there i'm at the salvation army and then i'm going to that other one that i can never remember and then suppose there's a new one around the corner as well so we'll see how that one goes as well but yeah let's get in there and let's get picking let's get picking that's a new one new intro not forgetting a basket again first thing you pick up because i always end up having to go back for one Thought me look we're in, looked, like, looked a bit of a Le Creuset pan, style pan, but it wasn't in the end. I'm keeping me out for hand-blown glass. And this one looked very interesting. Definitely looked like it had been, well, that, most glass is handmade anyway, isn't it? But this one looked a bit funky. Um, it was a bit pricey at a tenner, but I'm trying to get more into this market. Trying to expand my knowledge. I didn't do any research on it, which probably was a mistake. But... It's it's not a bad piece of not a bad piece of uh, glass to be honest. So I, I, I'm quite happy with the way I picked it up, and it should do a good return on that one. There isn't many available, so it, it shouldn't be too bad on that. I'm probably going to be looking. I'll probably pitch it around about probably thirty-five to forty pound plus shipping. So not too bad at all. But it's just one of those things that I'm just trying to get into. Just really looking out for and expanding my knowledge. It's a it's a a part of the market that I know hardly anything about but you've got to pick these things up to learn at the end of the day I'm kind of half-heartedly now looking around the Christmas stuff purely because it's quite, it's massively out of season now although we're in the season but I can't guarantee that people are going to get it for Christmas so it's just not worth me picking that much Christmas decorations up unless like it's a really really good find I'm going to be leaving it. Like this one. Um, picked it up. It's I can't remember the uh, the artist's name. But it comes with a certificate. And it's um, the nativity scene. Checked it all out. And I think they wanted £10. I think it says on there. And it resells for about between £9 and £12. So it just was not worth me picking it up. And the only one available was in America. I'm hoping at this point everyone is nicely set up for Christmas and everything's prepared and ready. Me and Amy are still slowly getting through the Christmas pile. Well, I say me and Amy. Amy is. I don't do Christmas organising at all. I prefer to leave it to Amy. I mean, we don't even buy each other presents, so that's how bad we, we've got. But uh, in terms of wrapping and everything, we're so far behind. I think we'll probably be doing it after I've edited this video. So... Yeah, it's just snuck up on us. We've been full of illness and it's just not been very fun uh, and has not been very organised getting everything ready. Quick check over the electronics. I never normally find, apart from the Marquee lamps, I don't think I've ever picked up electronics from here. Now these are a good one to look out for. These genuine Panasonic dust bags. These hoovers, I don't think are made anymore. This one had two in it, which had been open, but one set had all five in. It had been open, but all five were new in there. It was a pound. And at a pound, I'm willing to pick it up. If I can sell it for, I think I've got my, it up for seven quid. I know not massive money, but because it's such an easy shipper, um, just looking at that, it, you know, it'd be, it's lightweight. It'd be under one kilogram. I'll be able to ship it through every in a poly bag. It, it looks like it could be postable as well. It, it, it's, it, these are the sort of things that you've got to be looking out for. Totally agree with that, Scout. When I'm picking items up, I do generally get quite large items. I don't know why. I pick the little things up, but I, I find myself picking up more and more larger items. And you should always consider before you're buying it how you are going to get it to the buyer it is one of the most difficult things i've bought things before and then couldn't find a box big enough 
it's cost me a fortune in bubble wrap to get it somewhere and it, it should always be a consideration even if it's just you've bought it and you're having to up the delivery cost to cover some more of your, your time and also effort and packaging material that you're having to use to get it to that person while we're here these are some uh, oh, diamante something like that plates floral plates check them out they wanted 30 pound a plate which it's crazy because I think they only sell for around about 20 to 25 on eBay. So it just was not worth picking up. The ice skates, on the other hand, these look pretty much brand new. Still in the original box. For a fiver, with the guards on on the bottom. Without the guards, I think the, the guards don't make massive difference. But this resell for around 25 to 30. An extra bonus, I've picked the second pair up. Just realised how hard I'm tapping this pause button every time I've finished talking. Sorry about that. Uh, Amy might edit that out, but I've just realised I've just been listening to it back a lot, tapping. These shirts would have been a good pickup, two quid each, but uh, already personalised on the back, so just not worth me picking up kids' football shirts. I've already got them on. Now into the holy grail for me this place is fantastic for the sort of stuff that i want i'm looking for the suitcases i'm looking for golf clubs i'm looking for golf bags you know i specialize in them i'm also willing to look around so this um tala made it's a an ankle brace protection boot um still do <laughs> quite well so brand new 25 quid used around about 20 quid so picking it up for two pounds not too bad at all now here we go the Carlton hard shell suitcase. I don't know why I leave it. Why do I look at it and then come back? Well, I hope I come back. Oh, I'll keep you in suspense now. Do I come back? I'm looking at an unbranded blue one instead. Oh, I'm walking away. Oh, this isn't very good, is it? So now I didn't know whether I should have picked them up actually looking at them. Like vintage boots. Oh, I'm coming back. We're back. Am I back? I've gone again. Oh, I'm just picking a boot up. Checking for wash baskets. Little tip. I don't know if it applies over in the UK actually, but over in America, always looking out of a rubber made vintage wash baskets. I think it still counts here. Um, in fact, I'll try and get a comp. So there you go, just so you know I'm not talking rubbish. It is a predominantly an American thing, so I'll stop looking for them in the UK. <laughs> I knew it, I just knew it was, it was a thing. So this Carlton, really good, unlocked, ready to go, hard shell suitcase. At three pound, I think it was, I'll easily do 25 to 30 quid, maybe more. Then I find the Samsonite suit bag. At this point, it's honestly as if no one's even looked through this luggage. Like, a Carlton there, obviously picking up Antler and Samsonite card shells are a lot better, but Carlton's are still a good sellers, 25 to 30 quid. Then you hit a Samsonite suit bag, inside is immaculate. So easily, I think it, it's a bit bigger than the comps that are on here, so should easily do like 35 to £40. I then pick up this, this again, another glass piece. Uh, can't find any comps on there for it, but it's a fruit bowl, quite a large one for a pound. I'm willing to pick that up. And my favourite thing to do is, I'm, I'm struggling now. I'm like, listen, can I start piling it all up over here? I'm thinking I'm at a car boot. I'm thinking bundle deals. We know it doesn't happen like that, but it's. Uh, I, I, I just like to do it. It makes me feel good. So I'm going back to the suitcases, having a level up, because I've spotted, and I hope I go to it in a minute. I don't know why I'm checking these ones out. Oh, proper going for it. Another Carlton. But unfortunately, this one doesn't open. Other one opened, this one is locked. So one, it might be quite interesting because there might have some stuff in it. And two, I'm going to show, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a YouTube short, maybe after this video, on how to unlock a locked combination. 
might not be a useful video, but it's, it helps people out if there's, if there's a suitcase that's there that you can't open and it's got a three pin combination, it pretty much works on all of those locks. So it's just a little hack and I'll put a YouTube short out and I'll also put it on my TikTok. This looked like a really good condition bag. It was unbranded, but it was just in really nice condition. That's why we're taking a little bit longer to check it out. This one I'm kicking myself for because this were a fiver for these ski boots. Um, and I wanted to pick them up. Nordica, probably do like 20 to 25 quid, but for a fiver they were in good enough condition and I totally forget to take them to the till. So I'll just warn you now, like I'm not, I, I don't pick these up and I'm kicking myself for not doing it, but in the grand scale of things, it was a like a five pound to 20 pound item when I've got a lot of stuff here that takes a fancy. Now this one shocked me, so it, I missed this when I first walked past it, but this is actually a tailor-made golf bag and it's the Masters Edition. Now they are, there isn't any of these available on the internet, it's in really good condition, there's hardly any damage to it, uh, it's a, like I say, it's a master's bag, tailor made, um, in half decent condition, it's non listed, so at this charity shop all golf bags are £2, all golf clubs are a pound. so it was well worth picking up, uh, probably shoot, it'll probably sell for around about £30 in total, so it's not really a bad, bad little sale from that one, uh, and it's one that is the only one on the internet at the minute, so definitely worth a pick up. The only hassle is I've got to totally empty the bag to get to it and put them all on top of it. But things you've got to do, eh? But while I'm looking for it, I'm looking at the golf clubs, I'm checking out, making sure that I'm not missing anything. Um, because at this point, I am really quite buzzing. I'm, uh, I've got a real rush from being in this charity shop because this is the best it's been in a very long time for me. And people may be thinking, well, it's not that good, but when you're looking out for these sort of suitcases, you're looking out for golf bags, it's really, it gets you, it gets your heart racing a little bit to know that you've finally found them and you've finally, like, you've, you've not just found one, you've picked multiple items up in this store. Um, and it, 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 it just really gets me excited. In the end, I did end up finding one butter that took my eye not a great value i've put it up for 13 quid plus shipping not the greatest but it's one that i've never heard of before so it was worth taking it over for a quid uh, and just doing a little bit of research on it again none found online but i'm willing to do that for a pound i'd rather research as much into putters as much into golf as i, I like expand my knowledge as i can and in my hand here, you'll also see on the right hand side that I have got a little lampshade. I've got a six inch uh, converted oil lamp at home. All lampshades are a pound here. And I just need, uh, it's not getting much traction. So I'm thinking if I find the actual lampshade to go with it, then it works and that perfectly works. I'm checking out these laptop bags. I don't normally buy laptop bags for here. Now that one felt good, but it wasn't. But now this one, never heard of it it's called jean ferrari now they do specialize in larger bags and actually at the end of this video i will say i've made a slight mistake um in when i'm talking about it at the end but uh, we'll come on to that in a bit fantastic quality the clasp a bit dodgy but it, it's really nice quality um so a jean ferrari duffel bag larger bag will genuinely go for around about 90 to 100 pound the laptop bags with that nicer leather um i'd be looking at around i think i'm looking at around about 35 pound for that so it was you'll see in the end video i quickly checked the comps on it and i got excited when i saw over 100 pound but i didn't look properly at the item so yeah my bad but i was so excited while walking around here that i, I did make it's not a bag it's not a mistake by any means because at the end of the day like i've paid two pound for an item that i'll sell for hopefully 30 to 35 pounds so it's not too bad at all but it's not the 100 pound score that in the end video i think it is so yeah keep your eyes out for that one because uh, i make a slight fool of myself but not too bad at all uh, i'm actually checking it's away from camera but i'm checking out so uh, one a bike rack and there's also some like leg exercise equipment this bike rack's unbranded 
it's been in a store before and then sent to this distribution centre. So previously we were up in the store for £6 and then got it here at 3 uh, It wasn't the straps weren't in the greatest condition. I would not have trusted it at the back of my car. So um, I decided to put it back and thought it's probably not worth it. It's quite a large item to get shipped. One that's already built up and I don't want to be taking it apart again. So yeah, I decided to leave that one. I'm more looking at again exercise equipment movement equipment and mobility aids really just sell well and you can genuinely pick them quite up quite cheap it's funny because at the previous store the woman actually said have you got a luggage fetish i bought that much luggage um but no i haven't love sorry so this one here is the newer charity shop that's just opened around the corner from the ashgate it's it's not you can tell it's not been open long uh, no disrespect to it, I'm sure it will get itself going, but uh, there's not actually that much stock in here, and just weren't very well. Weirdly, they had no men's stuff, uh, but I don't know whether there was a reason behind that. There were men's shoes, but in terms of clothes, sorry, that was the chair, not me. In terms of clothes, there weren't actually any men's items. Strange ish, but I'll keep giving this one a go definitely because it might eventually get itself going a bit more. Uh, but at this point, it's just yeah, slim pickings. And again, checking the tire pile, there were tons of them in there, but guess what? Didn't find a single thing. You're gonna be shocked on a video when I actually find a tire that's worth any money, aren't you? And that's what I decide, that's me for this this morning's picking, I'm already late as it is. And that's me for the end of my voiceover section. Oh, well, I thought at Salvation Army, I thought I'm scraping barrel here, like it, it, there's not much. I've got that hand blown glass thing, don't know a value on that one, it just took my fancy and I thought, hand blown, should be all right. Should be alright, paid up a little bit, not too bad. Got the dust the dust bag collectors, generic, paid a pound, sell them for about 15, easy money. Then I go into the Ashgate, whatever it keeps Ashgate Hospice, whatever it's called. Wow. It looked like it not been picked for weeks. It like, it's like it's been waiting for me. Two cartons, two cartons. I've just recently sold one for 30 quid. Uh, these are the combination ones, not the key locks. One combination works, one is locked. So, I'm going to do a bit of research, and that's going to be one of my little next short videos, or on a TikTok. I'm going to show, hopefully, how you can reset those suitcases if you find them locked. Then, sorry, I'm gassing up, I'm that excited. I'm gassing up, like, the Samsonite suit bag. Easy money. I'll probably... Without looking, I'm going to say 30 to 50. Maybe more, I don't know. Samsonite, you know I love a Samsonite. Then what am I picking up? Oh, yeah, so I'll put this in the front next to it. I've got a converted oil lamp that's six inches. That looks about six inches, so a quid for that. That completes that. That'll probably add another 15 to 20 quid onto that oil lamp, so I'm happy. What else are we getting? The other the, uh, boot tailor-made tailor-made boot uh three quid paid for that sell for about 20 the tailor-made master's bag I, i'm gonna say that's probably a 50 60 quid bag paid a two quid the putter i just picked up because i like to research putters that i've never seen before a quid i'm not really too fussed the large bowl the fruit bowl the glass fruit bowl a quid I'm going to easy make money on that one, I'd say. It's going to be a nightmare to ship, but easy make money. And then as I was leaving, as I turned the camera off, because I know they don't like me filming in there, or filming them in there, I picked up a white wash basin, brand new, Silverdale. No word of a lie, Silverdale. I'm sure it was Silverdale. Yeah, I think it was Silverdale. New in the packaging. So that were £8. I was quite happy to pay up on that because new wash basins, as we all know, the ceramic ones are a fortune. So I'm gonna get some research done when we get that get back. So now I've got a I'm I'm over at Moon. I'm happy. And I've just nipped into a new one there. Uh it's not really got itself going. 
it's there's not much in there uh, it's only just opened probably a month it's been opened and it's right round the corner from the other one it's not going to get much traffic unfortunately but i'll keep going in and seeing if i can fit, pick anything up from there so yeah made my day so now i'm going to head back i'm going to be late but it'll be quarter past 11 she's going to tell me off but anyway she'll understand i've made a photo oh the Don Ferrari clan flat whatever it is that laptop bag Whew, I am glad I did not put that one back Resold is it, Sorry sold comps it's Resold Sold comps on that leather bag Over a hundred pound Two pound paid Woo Oh we're happy We're happy So we're gonna get I'm gonna get back I'm gonna watch the kids uh, And then we're off to watch Lion King tonight uh, in um, big Manchester so I will get myself ready for that that's why I had a very tight schedule this morning but I'm happy I probably I don't know I've spent how much I spent 20 odd uh, 50 quid I'm gonna say I've spent I'm gonna say without because obviously this is without me watching the video profit wise I'm thinking probably 350 something along them lines hopefully anyway we'll see anyway I hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the like hit the subscribe and over and out from a selling down